All right, guys, Sky2 Quality here, and you are looking at my travel kit of drones, and each one complements each other. They all three complement each other for what their case use is. When you're traveling abroad, you really want to travel light, and that's why I use the, the Huma 20 4K because it gives beautiful images, and you can fly around people close to them, around beaches, don't have to worry about it injuring somebody because of the prop guards the thing is really incredible all right only problem is is then when i'm going past 15 miles an hour the winds are going past 15 miles an hour it really does struggle um if you're going up a hill or if you're going up a mountain and the higher you go up it says 15 mile an hour is low it's typically a lot higher when you go up higher so that is when the huma starts to uh starts to have problems and i noticed that and, and the footage still comes out clean but you know i've almost lost this drone three times now if not for this from the gps that i put on and the lost buzzer because i was able to retrieve it after the wind shifted it and took it down now the hover this is the perfect selfie drone it's the ak version uh, if you're traveling abroad it's very light as well and if it was only one drone that you could bring with you for traveling with family and friends this would probably be my go-to just because you can get everybody in the uh, the shot and, you, and it has a lot of capabilities of uh selfie capabilities that are very user friendly for um to follow you and for family photos and video and whatnot now when you have a lot of wind the purpose of this 3.5 inch was to complement really the huma where if it could not take or handle the winds i needed something that was a little bit stronger because this has two inch props and this creation here is 3.5 inch props i've seen a couple of high-end drones being sold out there with the 04 air unit and 3.5 inch props and with the 1604 t motors and it's costing a pretty penny and honestly i have not seen them with all the bells and whistles that this has as far as everything that you need able to carry a mini gps on board as well as a lost buzzer and without the lost buzzer you're going to have problems you need both the gps and lost buzzer to do the setup if you want to travel abroad and get far away video if you lose the drone or whatnot so i'm surprised at just how powerful this drone is it's not only light sub 250 and i'll in another video i'll show you the compromises that we had to do to get it to, to, to 250 and under and uh and the parts that we used because i did not use the hack rc even though i said i love using hack rc i could not use it on this build because it was um, an f4 soft cereal and i'll tell you guys i had a lot of problems with soft cereal i tried to upgrade to 4.6 beta flight 4.6 so i could use um what was it gps position hold it would not update it was very priority based software that made only the soft cereal to be working with uh, beta flight 4.3 and even on beta flight 4.3 you could see the gps coordinates but as soon as i plugged in my elrs everything disappeared it's like it lost the power totally so i went to the gemku f77 f722 uh what's the seven board and it has six uarts gps is not working return to home tested and working everything is perfect on this drone right now as it is and what makes it very special is what i said not a lot of drones can do this. You can show me, if you can show me any of them that are able to have everything you need at 250 grams. And yes, this thing can freestyle too. And just to show you that I am not lying here, this is the benchmark battery that most YouTubers are trying to use on a sub 250, 3.5 inch or even four inch and, you know, and still have great flying characteristics. Uh, the most that I've seen out there is seven point as a tattoo 750 and barely keeping it under 250 grams without a GPS, which we do have and without the lost buzzer. So let's check out the weight with the tattoo 850. Get your butt here. 250 grams on the nose. Okay, maybe my scale is off. So let's try another scale just to make sure. Okay my secondary scales because I bought two scales just to make sure that I was uh, safe when going abroad if the unlikelihood no one's gonna come out and weigh your drones but if they did what would happen so 850 boom guys we did it 250 grams DJI 04 everything that you need for long range and the crazy thing about this you're gonna see in a minute 
I'm um, just going to cut to the stress test of flying it in the test zone where we go long range, try to go long range as much as we can and to uh, see what this drone can handle, if it can handle any slight winds. And you're gonna be surprised. The batteries that I tested, the Tattoo R-Line, this 260 milliamp uh, 3S pack, and this no-namer FPV Vera. And surprisingly, out of all of them, oh, and I also tested the GNB. Surprisingly, out of all of them, the FPV Vera, when the winds were low, performed the best out of all of them. This GNB, for some reason, I have larger back battery packs and they are great, but for some reason, these, these, the smaller ones, no matter what quad I put them in, they just drain so fast and, and they're just not very efficient. Uh, our line was pretty good, but I'm just shocked that this 50-50 risk battery, and I'm gonna say it's a risk battery because you get a good set, you're fine. You can get these on Amazon, two of them for uh, $28. But what I think this company is doing, they have two batches of these. The first batch that they have, I'm just, my opinion, is a bad batch. And so you'll order it and you'll test out the, uh, you test out the resistance is pretty, pretty high. And you'll test out the, uh, the voltage and it's way off. One of the cells are, are typically dead. I bought two of these sets and that's what happened. What happened was the first one that they gave me, I had to, uh, send it back for uh, not a refund, but for a replacement. And the second batch was perfect. So this is a product of the second batch. And I said, okay, Scott, just go get, get another one. So I ordered another pack of two, the same thing, bad sell. Complained again, replaced it, and got another set of good batteries. So I think they're trying to get rid of their bad stuff first, their bad inventory first, and then give you the good stuff, which is kind of like, just, just do it right the first time, you know? We had encountered so much wind, guys, it was crazy. I thought maybe a little over, uh, I don't know, 15 mile an hour winds, but we had hit gusts of easily 40 mile plus up there. And surprisingly, you're gonna see two flights, one with the R-Line 850, which did well, uh, did okay. And then you're gonna see this one at the very end, the longer that we stayed, the worse it became. became. Um, the wind was so freaking bad. And this 3S pack surprised the hell out of me with this drone. Oh, and also if you wanna fly with ND filters, which I do love doing, you are able to fly with the ND filter and still stay sub 250 with this FPV Vera battery. Just so we can make sure here. Let's test it out again, turn it on. And with the ND filter and the FPV Vera battery, sub 250 boom look at that look at that guys yeah this thing has all the bells and whistles and can freestyle and the other thing i'm going to do is just give you guys my pids because i wanted to show you guys how i pid tune and uh, i use the pid toolbox and they do charge now so i have my own standalone uh, free version when they, they were actually free and i can't just give them to you guys on a download link because yeah i don't feel like getting sued by brian or ryan white so um can't do that so what i'll do is i will do another video of all the parts and what we did to put this thing together give you my pit tune and how to put that pit tune in so that you do have uh all three uh voltage settings so you're going to have one that's going to be able to run when you plug in 4s a 4s pit setting a 6s battery a 6s pit setting that i tuned it to and also 3s so you're gonna have all of them and that'll be the next video. But right now, guys, I just want you to enjoy the flights and enjoy how we uh, met some cool people out, out in the field test, test flying and just how windy it was. And this thing, it's a beast in the wind. So you won't need anything else. I mean, it, it was flying just as well as my friend's six inch and heavy winds. Yeah, this thing shocked the heck out of me. Anyway, guys, let's cut now to uh, the testing zone. Scott Quadi, sign out. Hey guys, it is pretty windy out here. I don't know if you can hear the wind. This is the purpose of this 3.5 inch build is to fly it in winds that the Huma 20 could not do. Huma 20 had problems with uh, 5 to 10 mile an hour winds and this is obviously a lot worse so we're going to try to fly it up that mountain right there in the back. 3.5 inch, 50 milliamp for us. Let's do it. How far do you think that mountain is from us now?
Ugh. I go for it. I go to it. I go to it, but I don't know if I. If we were parked closer to it, I would. I don't know if you can go up. I don't know if I can either. Part of the mountain right now. Usually we do long range. We came out to test, but the wind picked up. Yeah. Usually we do like six miles, five, six miles down the bay. But the jet, not as far, but the jet. But I go up the mountain. Up the I want to go down that with all the time. I come down to that canyon. Oh, yeah. So where you can't see it, you can. What do you see? When you look at this? Oh, you see it. It's like you're. It's like you're on your your uh, ATV. You see it. You're just like driving a car. But you, you have some instruments that you can see in there. Yeah. You know you're I see my, yep, that's what, that's totally what I'm looking at right now. Ah. <laughs> uh, we, we have to, much bigger ones than these even, but I just wanted to test this one out because I go overseas, like vacations and stuff, and I can't have anything that's over 250 grams, so I built this little small one so that I can take it on the planes. It's doing really good right now. It's, it's a sub 250 and it is. Oh, oh. oh it's a little drone. Yep. Oh, very cool. I love like getting good landscape when I'm out of the country, you know, and I, yeah, yeah. And this thing does it. It, it. At least this one, I know it will do. I'm test, I do all my testing here before I, before I travel. That's a rush. <laughs> That's impressive. Uh, yeah, I can't. This is my first time testing it out the way because I have a smaller one and it will not be able to handle this one. So I built this one a little larger prop, but to handle this, we can handle this one no matter what. Right yeah, exactly. exactly. So now they're making them with better technology where you can just. This camera is as good as, as good as a GoPro. 